Hey guys, how's it going? So today's tutorial is pretty unique. We're going to be using Affinity Designer to create a 3D design and we're going to be using Blender as well. Uh, Blender, you don't need to know uh, the way I have it set up for you. It's very simple. We're going to be doing all the designing in Affinity Designer and then we're going to jump over to Blender and I'm going to like hold your hand through it and there's, uh, I want to say about six steps and uh, you should be good to go. So on this channel, I do a lot of Affinity Designer. Uh, well, but it's, it's pretty much everything I do is Affinity Designer stuff. And, uh, you know, I haven't posted anything for the past two years. And now I'm getting more into it. Uh, and the big reason because of that is because I really got into 3D printing over the past two, three, well, about two years. So I want on this channel to start bridging that gap and to start doing uh, some more 3D printing stuff and you know but still do the affinity designer stuff and this is kind of the first step you'll be surprised there's there's actually quite a few unique and artistic ways to use vector and svg to create a 3d print and this is the first one i hope you guys like it and um you know i'm gonna keep doing i got a couple more planned but we are you know gonna make we're gonna make a coaster um you know, never have enough coasters, but uh, you can design it. You know, you can put your artwork on a coaster and print it. Um, if you yourself don't have a 3D printer, I feel like they're, I feel like they're big enough that, you know, you probably got a friend who has one or a friend's friend that you can just send the file to and say, hey, can you print this out for me? So let's just get right into it. Uh, we're going to start on Affinity Designer and um, let's, I did a video. So this is the file that I ended up making and, uh, it is based of course on the Witcher, uh, Netflix series. If you haven't seen it, it's awesome. Watch it. But this is the little symbol there that they, uh, re uh, the new logo for the show. So I did a screen recording of just kind of the outline cause you know, we can just watch this real quick, just so you get the idea of how to get to here. It's really not hard. So you're going to bring your logo in and you're just going to outline it. Okay. You're going to take the pen tool, you're going to put it in smart mode and you're just going to go over all the shapes and you're going to first, I do it rough. And then what I do is I go back in with the node tool and I start straightening everything out and kind of really making sure everything lines up perfect the way I want. Um, you know, I have another tutorial. Uh, it's the Wonder Woman tutorial. And uh, I'll put a link to that in the description here. And that goes in to a little bit more detail if, uh, you know, if you're doing a really complex shape. We got pretty lucky with this shape. It's There's nothing too complex about it. Um, and basically all we need for a coaster is we're going to need two vector files. One's going to be the base and then one's going to be the design that pops up over top of it. And uh, in this one, you could do a circle as well, but you'll see in a second. Um, when I went to go make the base, uh, I wanted the wing to stick out a little bit. So I kind of took that circle and put in a couple extra vectors and stretch it out a little bit. And uh, I'm glad I did. I think it looks really cool in the actual physical version. Um, also, by the way, I'm going to have this uh, actual one, if you don't want to recreate this design, um, I put it on Thingiverse. I'll have the link to that in the description so you can just download and print one out if you want. Um, so back in Affinity Designer, now you can see you know, this is the final piece. We have our base and we have our design. So let me uh, also show you just real quick and bring this layer to the top. So just other ideas for designs. So you're looking for anything that's like black and white, like one level above another level and uh, something, you know, just cool that would be kind of circular and fit into a coaster and look sweet, you know, sitting on your desk. So just some ideas right there of what else you could do. And uh, what we want to export is the design itself. So let's take these three, which are the design and uh, shift select them. And we're going to hit command G to put them in a group. 
And then that group we're going to call design. And then the curve here is just that uh, bottom. So we'll just call that the bottom. So let's turn this layer off. So all we have is our design. And then we're going to go to file. We're going to go to export. And we're going to export an SVG. Um, SVG for export. We do not want raster. And we're just going to hit export. And we're going to save that off. I already have it saved, but you're going to save it as, you know, in your project file. Then you're going to turn that off and you're going to turn the bottom on and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to file, export, SVG, uh, export it, you know, put it in your project file. And that's it for Affinity Designer. Now we have two vector files and all we're going to do is go into Blender and we're just going to extrude that. So let me tell you about Blender real quick. Blender is a completely free uh, open source 3D program. Like very, very advanced really and very surprising that this whole thing is free and it's awesome. Um, if you're looking to get into 3D, you know, I would definitely recommend Blender. Uh, but what we're using it for, it, it looks intimidating, but what I'm gonna show you is not intimidating and you're gonna be able to uh, knock this coaster out. And then in the future, I have a couple other projects. So what you wanna do is download, go to download and uh, download Blender for whatever your um, you know, OS is and install it. And then we're gonna go into Blender. Okay, over in Blender here, uh, this is what Blender's gonna look like when you open it. All you wanna do is click this general you know, and that's just going to give us our default, you know, that way all of our, uh, everything should be set up the same for both of us. And I'm going to walk you through this step by step. It's not hard. We're going to right click on this cube and go down to the bottom and hit delete. Then what we're going to want to do is bring in both of our SVG files and extrude them, layer them up and export them. Easy peasy. So, Let's go to File, we want to go to Import, and then we want to go down to this one right here, which is Scalable Vector Graphics SVG. So that's what SVG stands for, in case you're wondering. Uh, we're going to click on that and then navigate to your uh, folder where you have the SVGs uh, stored. So first thing, I am going to bring in the, uh, the top and hit Import. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Um, what we want to do is select all of these. You don't need to do this if you're, uh, if you just have one item, but we have a couple here. I just want to drop them all into one. We can go to object and we're going to hit join. And what that's going to do is it's just going to make everything one solid. That way we can apply our effect to it in one second. So the base, let's import our base. Again, SVG, base, import. And we don't want to move anything because they should import exactly on top of each other. So now we have our base, we have our uh, logo. So all we got to do, two things we got to do and we'll be done. Well, two and then an export. So let me zoom in and kind of get on the side here. So now we have our vector in, it just puts it on a plane. So now we want to uh, go to, we want to select our base, which it is. And if it's not, you can either click this and click it or click it in here. And we want to go down to this little wrench here and we want to do add modifier. We want to go to this solidify right here. And see how, as we put it on immediately, now we have some depth. Um, the thickness by default should be uh, 0.01 uh, meters, which should be roughly uh, like a millimeter here. It looks a little thicker than in reality, but as you can see, uh, we do want a really thin 
uh, coaster. And this, this is really thin. So basically, it's a millimeter on the base. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to solidify that and lift it up so it's on top. So total, this should be two millimeters thick, which is going to work out perfect. So now that that one's solidified, we're going to click on this one. Same thing. We're going to go to this little wrench and we're going to do solidify again. And it should be that exact same amount. We're going to click on and off. And as you can see, it's, it's, um, you know, it's the same thing. So last step before export, we want to click on the move tool and your move might be off a little bit. This is beginners, don't worry, it shouldn't be too far away. We're just gonna eyeball it up. And if you notice the white lines, as I touch that uh, surface, they go gray and even you can see like them dipping into that surface. We wanna make sure they're gray. You, don't, you definitely wanna make sure it's on or below the surface just a tad but like right about there should be good. And if um, you want, the last thing you can do real quick, just to be safe, is we're gonna take this select and we're gonna select everything. We're gonna zoom out a little bit and we're gonna go to this scale because this might be, if you zoom out, and you can tell that that all fits in one, that's gonna be a little bit small. So once we export it, it's not gonna matter as much. You can really, they're scalable still in the 3D printing programs, but you're gonna to go to scale. We're gonna click this outside uh, white ring and uh, let's just go ahead and scale that up so, so that it's on more squares than just one little square down there. That's it. We got a cool, coaster here easy hopefully you know even if you don't know blender you were able to follow that our last thing is we want to go to file we want to go to export and we want to export this as an stl file and we're going to pick you know where to store it i already have it saved um and that's all you're going to need to uh, give to a friend or print yourself. If you're a 3D printer, you know what to do with an STL file. You're going to bring it into Cura, put it on, and then get it all ready. That I'm not going to show you right now because uh, you probably already know if you do 3D printing, you, you're going to know how to print this. It's an easy object to print. And uh, if not, there's there's plenty of other uh, tutorials online. So this channel is not going to be for, like I'm not going to do uh, 3D tutorials necessarily, but I do have more affinity tutorials that are going to be very similar to this in Blender. They're just going to be real easy to follow, extrude, you know, do a couple things like that. We're going to go a little bit more in depth on the next one. Uh, you know, a couple more steps, but I'm going to keep it very basic, very, uh, you know, follow these steps and we'll knock it out. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if you did, you know, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.